On September 10th, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket successfully launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base, carrying the first 21 satellites of the Tranche 1 transport layer for the Proliferated Warfighter Space Architecture, or PWSA. These 21 satellites are the first operational data transport vehicles of the PWSA. They are now the leading edge of a planned constellation of 154 Tranche 1 satellites that will provide resilient, low-latency technical communications and missile tracking from low Earth orbit. To build out this network, the SDA is planning an aggressive launch cadence of about one launch per month for the next nine months. This represents a fundamental paradigm shift. The PWSA's proliferated model moves away from the old way of doing things, relying on a few expensive and vulnerable satellites in high orbits. Instead, it uses a large mesh network of smaller, cheaper satellites in low Earth orbit. This disaggregated architecture is specifically designed to be resilient. The loss of one or even several satellites will not cripple the network. This forces an adversary into a difficult and costly position. They would have to destroy our satellites faster than we can replenish them, a challenge made even harder by the SDA's use of rapid commercial launch services. This makes our space enterprise far more survivable in a contested environment. There were also two major leadership and basing announcements for the Space Force this week. 